Hey, if you like sci-fi and you like cute girls, watch what I'm going to do here in my Daz Studio tutorial. Hey, this is Not From This World, and I thank you so much for joining me. I make Daz Studio and GIMP tutorials to help you create CGI work and hopefully make things a little bit more fun and easy. Now, today, Milica is going to be taking the day off, but I do have her friend Aurora, and I have made a comic with Aurora, and it's a sci-fi comic, and as you can see, she's been abducted by aliens, and the aliens are about to, uh, I don't know, do some probing or <laughs> whatever for her, and uh, you know what aliens do. But they have this, uh, oh my gosh, they have this kind of uh, robotic pair of scissors and they have started to cut her top and so I'm gonna show you how we can cut this top off of her really easily and this is gonna be basically post work with GIMP but it's super easy and will save you a lot of time rather than doing something like mesh grabber or even hexagon now, both of those programs are really good for manipulating and moving clothing to an extent, but this is just another way that we can kind of mess around with clothing, move it around, change it, and get the desired effect that we want. Okay, so let's get started. In this scene, I have my shears, and I'm going to just adjust them a little bit because it looks like they're a little too low. They're kind of going inside Mil uh, I'm sorry, it's not Milica. Inside Aurora, uh, inside her body. So we're just going to adjust this just a little bit. I think I'll raise it up just a tad until those shears are kind of um, above her. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, once I have my scene set up, I'm gonna set it up with her completed shirt. And you can see that this blade here is going kind of into the shirt. That's what we want. And uh, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so we can see this better. We wanna have like the full effect here. So I'm gonna just position the camera where I like it. And we're going to run a render. So let's see what this is going to look like after rendering. Okay, so it is finished and it looks pretty good. I like kind of how it's bright. I mean, you know, when you're abducted by aliens, I guess uh, I've heard of bright lights. I don't know. Haven't been abducted. But Aurora looks pretty good. So we're going to save this render. And I'm just going to save it Aurora 1. And now I'm going to keep the same settings, everything. I'm not going to move the camera. not going to do anything except remove her top. Now, I do have a bra that I'm going to make sure is visible. I normally wouldn't put this on as I make this cut, and I would probably take this pair of scissors and move it more up here just to make it a little bit more obvious. But because YouTube doesn't like boobies, we will put the bra on. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to make the top disappear. So with this, I'm just going to run the exact same render. You might kind of know where I'm going here. We're going to be blending the two pictures together. So let's just render this one and then I'll go into GIMP and we'll show you what you do next. Okay, so we have this one now rendered, and I'm just going to save it in the same place. We'll just call it Aurora 2. And now I'm going to get out of Daz Studio, and we're just going to open up these two pictures in our GIMP program. All right, so I'm just going to open up Aurora 1. 
and Aurora 2. And let's go to the picture where she is bare bellied. And what I want to do is I want to uh, use my lasso tool to grab the area of bare skin that I want for the final picture. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of come up here and we're going to make a um, kind of a, an arched shape to grab some of her skin here, her belly skin. So I'm going to actually start down here and I'm just going to kind of arch up to that sheer point where the scissors are. And then I'm going to kind of arch down like that. And I'm going to make a big area, kind of a big loop back to my line and connect it. Then all I need to do is go control copy. We're now going to go into our other picture, hit control V and paste it. And the reason why I made such a big area is because we need to line this up so that it matches perfectly with the original picture. I think that looks pretty close. Uh, I'm off. So let's move it. This might be the hard part is getting it lined up perfectly. All right, now that looks pretty good. And you can see now that it looks like part of her shirt has been cut. We could make another set of pictures where this pair of scissors is moving up and we could put it up here and cut a lot more if we wanted to. Now we need to do a little bit more post work before we call this good. So I'm going to go back to view and we're really going to kind of zoom in. Let's go into a 400% and you can see where I cut. We have this jagged line. So I'm just going to go to my smudge tool and let's knock the smudge down considerably here. And um, once we have the smudge tool kind of at a nice small scale, we're just gonna come in here and kind of blend and smooth out that line. So this line that I cut wasn't very smooth. It's really jagged. So we're just gonna smooth this line out. I wanna be careful with the shadow. I kind of like the shadow of the shears, the sheer shadow. So I don't really wanna mess that up with my smudge tool, but I do want to smudge out this jagged line a little bit. Might even take this, kind of just bring that shirt more to a point. All right, now that should look better. Let's go back to view. Go back to 100%. Yeah, okay. So you kind of get the picture at least. I probably could have moved these shears up to about here and cut more of her shirt just to give it an effect. But in a comic, I might start with this picture, move the shear up to right about here, her sternum, and then cut more of the shirt and make multiple pictures in a comic. So I just thought I'd show you this. I was wondering if I had done this in a old, old video. I can't remember, but I thought, hey, let's refresh it and make it again if I have repeated myself, I apologize, but I think this is new. It's just another technique to mess with clothes. You know, clothes and hair are the most tricky to pose and get the way that you like. And I've got to say, I don't like a lot of post work, but in this case, it works pretty good. So I'm just going to save this for my thumbnail, agree to export this. And now we have our Aurora character. All right, that's going to just about wrap it up for today. I want to thank you all so much for your subscriptions. I'm now over 1800 subscribers. And for this little channel, that is just amazing. I never thought that I'd really get this popular, even though I'm, I mean, I'm not Matt's off-road recovery popular or anything, but to have 1800 plus uh, subscribers to me is just really amazing. So I want to say thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on what you think this technique has the potential for. And until next time, have a wonderful time rendering.